Okay, so last time we'll have to Are hear this music. Are we going to miss this intro? Because it really makes me sleepy. It does too good a job. <laughs> Sleep Week concludes today on Breakfast Television. It's been a great week. Uh, lots of interaction with you. And what we're going to do together is we're going to put a best of together and put it exclusively online. All the best advice for how to get that, that great sleep. A highlight reel from when is the best time, what to eat, we covered best pillows, pillows. Yeah. technology, gadgets to how assist you. How about when do you go to a sleep clinic? Ask your doctor for a referral to a sleep clinic. So we've sent Tammy, who is a self-professed snorer, to the um, Etobicoke Brampton Sleep Clinic up on Humber College Boulevard, and she spent the night there all wired up. Our sleeping beauty. Tam, did you sleep? You know what? I did sleep, but I felt like I didn't get a great sleep only because I was conscious of all the wires and, and feeling like a robot a little mm -hmm. bit, but I did sleep. So it's not that bad. It looks a lot. It looks like a lot, but it's actually not that bad. And you know what? It's worth it if you do have a problem that you need to look into. Sleep apnea being one of the major ones. So we're back with Dr. Rodriguez now. Uh, so if you do have sleep apnea, let's say a severe case, there are treatments out there, including the equipment that we have here on the table. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, for severe apnea in particular, the one we use, I would say 95% of the time, is the nasal CPAP machine tube and mask. And Sapna kindly quote unquote volunteer for this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you can see, the CPAP systems are getting smaller and smaller, connected to an airtight mask and a tube. And in simple terms, it is a compressor that delivers air at pressure and keeps the throat open, a splint for the throat. Mm -hmm. You have to find the right pressure, the right humidity and so on, but at the right pressure, the apnea is controlled and most patients get used to it. It takes a while. Right. They need coaching yep. and support from the family as well and so on, but the treatment is very effective. Okay, and as well, the treatment, a lot of people might not know this, it's actually covered in, in part by oil. Most of it covered. Most of it covered. So About 75% roughly, but it varies with the cost of the mask and so on. But oh. thank God it's covered. Okay, that's great. So good news. It is partially covered by OHIP. And of course, there is a difference. We talked about adult sleep apnea as well, but there's pediatric sleep apnea, and we have pediatric sleep specialist Dr. Sandeep Bola here with us. What is the difference between the adult version and the pediatric version? So the main difference between adults and pediatrics is the cause of the obstruction. Mm -hmm. In many children, not all children, but in many, the cause of the obstruction is from large tonsils and adenoids. So tonsils being at the back of your mouth and throat and adenoids being balls of tissue at the back of your nose. Mm -hmm. So that tends to cause intermittent obstruction through the night, uh, which results in sleep apnea in some children. So what should parents look out for? So uh, the, the cardinal feature for pediatric obstructive sleep apnea is snoring. So if your child snores, then that's a, a reasonable um, uh, signal to say, they need further assessment by their physician, uh, a history, a physical exam to see whether they need uh, special inv specialist involvement or a, or a formal sleep study. Okay, great. Nothing to be afraid of, kids. If you have, uh, of course, parents, if you do notice that your kid might be having some kind of issue, especially that snoring, I can tell you, it, you sleep like a baby here. It's fine. And the kids might have fun with all those wires, too, so it's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, we'll send it back to Kevin and Dina. It's all right. All right. On no assignment problem. to put her to sleep. That was a first. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Uh,